you know, like, what if they get busted by the feds or something and they don't have it anymore? Then what would I do? Hey, y'all. I'm back with another tutorial. Well, I shouldn't say tutorial because it's not tutorial. Hey, y'all. Back with another video. This is going to be a products video. And in this video, all I'm going to talk about are wrapping products, wrapping phones, wrapping lotions, whatever you want to call them. I'm gonna go over the ones that I don't prefer and I'm going to tell you why I don't prefer them and then I'll talk about the one that I love. First product that I do not prefer. I don't want to be you know rude and just be like I don't like that shit. So the first one that I do not prefer <laughs> we're going to be real PC is the Care Care uh, Foam Wrap Set Lotion and this is what it looks like. I got this from Ulta while back it was on sale and so I bought it because I wanted to try something different but I did not like it at all it made my hair like dry and like tacky not sticky but it was it was mm -mm. and there are some care care products that I absolutely swear by like I love their moisturizing conditioner and their moisturizing shampoo I use them all the time um, they're pricey but I invest in those products because they actually do provide moisture for my hair. But this right here, uh, no ma'am. So this was a no for me. The next wrapping foam we have is Design Essentials. It looks like this. Um, and I don't really remember, I don't remember where I bought this. Um, I just know I bought it and you can see how much is still in here. Yeah, pretty much all of it because it's right there. This made my hair sticky and hard and no. And you know, the other day I was watching on Snapchat, uh, Larissa Turner, she does short hair tutorials here on YouTube. She has a really, really good channel. And I was watching her and she was like, um, oh, I'm in the store, I'm gonna try something different. And she picked this up and I was screaming at my phone like, no girl, don't do it. <laughs> that shit terrible and she bought it and she tried it and if you watch her on snapchat a couple days later she was like mm -mm, this product is not all that and it really it's not like if i was in an absolute crunch and didn't have my nairobi i could make any of these work but to go out and purchase them for you know the point of getting my hair to be exactly like i wanted at home no i wouldn't purchase any of these for that purpose okay the next two are kind of equal in terms of what they actually do and what results they give you. Um, the first one is the Olive Oil ORS Wrap Set Mousse. It looks like this. And you can get this from anywhere, really. I got mine from Sally's. And I used to use this religiously. Like, before I discovered Nairobi, this was my go-to. This and my um, Paul Mitchell Foaming Wrap. This is what I used. I liked it, I could make it work, but in comparison to the Nairobi, it's not as good of a product. I have to add a lot of oils to my hair. I have to do a lot to maintain the moisture and shine of my hair. And with my hair being relaxed, I shouldn't have to do that much work to get it to look shiny, especially when it's jet black like it is now. So if you need something and you don't want to spend the money on Nairobi, or if you can't locate Nairobi and you need something that you can go and just grab locally, I, I would use it. You know, it's not horrible. It's not the worst, but it's definitely not the best product. It's just like, mm, it's all right. Okay, last and not least is Motions. And as you can see, oh, you can't see, but it's like right here. I used to use this product a lot and I liked it in, conjunct in conjunction with other Motion products. Um, it gave me pretty decent results. You know, like I said, it wasn't bad but it's not great. It's on the same you know, plane as this uh, ORS wrap foam. And this is called Foaming Wrap Lotion. And it says ultimate hold for wet sets and wrap styles. I think maybe if you had longer hair and you were doing like a roller set at home, you could probably use this and get pretty decent results. It didn't like weigh my hair down or make it sticky or anything like that. It just wasn't the best in terms of giving me a super flat sleek mold it didn't add any shine and it didn't last as long as like Nairobi does when I use it in my hair so this was another one that was like hmm and you can get this at Sally's at Target you know you can get this at CVS or whatever uh, other motions products are sold <laughs> so last and definitely not least is my all-time 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 favorite y'all look where my Nairobi is 
I'm gonna be for real, like I'm getting kind of nervous. Like, you know, I get this from a local beauty supply store that sells all kind of stuff they're not supposed to be selling to people who don't have licenses and that's all I'm gonna say. However, I find my products there so I'm kind of nervous like I feel like I need to like go right now and get like five of these because you know like what if they get busted by the feds or something and they don't have it anymore then what would I do? I did order on Amazon. At any rate, the Nairobi Rapid Shine Foaming Lotion is by far the best wrapping product on the market in my opinion it's the best one I've ever tried it's the best one I have ever used the results are unmatched if you want shine you get it in this product if you want sleekness and a very flat mold you get it with this product if your hair is uh, very textured and you need, need it to lie down this product will help you do that if you are natural and you want a sleek look you can wrap your hair with this product and get your hair to look nice and straight and sleek if you want your molds to last use this product and I have a video on how I wrap my hair and style it to last me throughout like a work week and this is great for that if you want your hair to just be molded and you want to be able to get up comb your hair and go in the mornings without necessarily doing any extensive styling you can definitely use Nairobi it just it dries fast it's just amazing i love the nairobi gods that created this this was like the best thing ever and i am going to try some of their other products because for now this is the only product in their line that i've ever tried i am going to venture out and try their um leave-in conditioner and see how i like that because i am a huge fan of their wrapping foam it is amazing it's all i use on my hair a lot of people dilute it i don't dilute mine really at all and I kind of am heavy handed with it. However, when it gets low like this, I will dilute it. So maybe three parts to one part. So, you know, for every three ounces of this product, I may add one ounce of water um, just so that it can last me a little longer. But I like the product straight from the bottle. Now, we'll say this. When you use Nairobi straight from the bottle, when you first get from under the dryer, your hair will be a little like, um, sticky especially if you're heavy-handed like I am you'll feel it all you got to do is comb it through or brush through it get you a little oil and that's gone and it's absolutely gone later that day or the next day and that's just because like I said I don't dilute it and I am heavy-handed but for the product itself it's not the product it's just the way I use it okay guys that was it for my review I guess review that was it for my kind of line of wrapping and setting foams and mousses that I prefer and then the ones that I don't prefer and why if you guys have tried any of these let me know you know leave comments talk to me about why you like them why you don't like them where you buy your products from because I get a lot of questions from people asking me where can I find that where did you get it from so that information is also very useful so if you have information about where you get your products from you know let people know I'm in Florida so where I go in my city and get mine is not applicable you know to someone who lives for instance you know in Dallas Texas is not gonna help them but you know maybe what you say in the comments will be helpful to them so I encourage you guys to you know converse down there and let me know as well so until next time guys as always thank you so much for watching share comment check out my website which is kright.com and until next time bye